today on Be More Lifestyle. The art of the side hustle, how to bring in more money, and a real-life mermaid on a mission. Be More Lifestyle. Now, here are your hosts, Shardell Moore and Christina Denny. Yes, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Shardell Moore. And I'm Christina Denny. Welcome to Be More Lifestyle. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, guys. We have a great show this week. How are you feeling, Christina? I'm feeling good. How about you? I am feeling fantastic. Did I love know? this dress, by the way. Thank and the you. boots. Thank you. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start off by taking a look at what's happening around town. This evening, you can take part in an important discussion about food justice. Discuss food deserts and the connection between food and social justice in our community. It will be from 7 to 8.30 this evening at the Silburn Arboretum at, on Greenspring Avenue. Register now at eventbrite.com. Also tonight, you can head to the Baltimore Museum of Industry for a Wine and Canvas Night. This event is from 6.30 to 9.30, and the price per seat is $40. Sip some wine while creating your own, very own masterpiece. Loving it. Yes, <laughs> or you could take the family over to Heckle Farm, where they're having a kids' event next Monday from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. We're telling you now because it fills up fast. Admission is free, and it includes a tour of the farm and information on how to grow food where you live, as well as a two-part circus farm workshop. Register at eventbrite.com. Ooh, time for our Go Girl salute, and today we're joined by someone who is very special. That's mm -hmm. right, we have the Chesapeake mermaid right here with us. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course. Nice. So yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Oh, well, first of all, I'm almost 400 years old. Wow. I've seen a lot. And I've been working by myself, mostly helping the Chesapeake Bay. Um, but I realized we got to a point where we needed to have more community involvement. We really need everyone here to help solve this issue. So I came up on land to try to find people who are like-minded that want to join me. So I do all kinds of outreach and working on trying to help save the bay and hopefully some people can come along. You don't look a day over 350. No, you Thank don't. You. And your tail is huge. Do you need help getting yeah. around? Well, I do need help getting around. I never go out on land alone. Um, I've got quite a few uh, volunteers that help me out, which is really great. I love having them around giving me a hand or a tail. Or a tail. <laughs> Every once in a while. Um, but, you know, in the water is really what I'm best at. And, you know, I'm no princess. I don't have the grace and the poise um, that you would think of a mermaid, but I'm strong, I'm able, and, uh, you know, I get the job done. And, you know, maybe one day me and Michael Phelps can have it out, huh? <laughs> Speaking of getting the job done, you do a lot of events. What type of events do you do, Miss Mermaid? Oh, my gosh, there's so many different kinds of events. You wouldn't be surprised how many things can really use a mermaid's hand. Yeah. Things like sea glass festivals, antique malls and shows. You know, I work a lot with kids. We do a, we have a lot of fun. We really do. And, you know, a lot of times my appearance fees, 100% of that, I get to donate it to charitable organizations. So I work with a lot of nonprofits. Yeah. Nice. What type of nonprofits do you work with? Oh, uh, pretty much anything that works with the bay. So okay. we're doing things like um, restoring oyster beds. You know, that's a really important part, trying to get animals' habitats back. Uh, we're also building reefs for fish, you know, so for all of you guys out there who are fishing, that we're definitely helping out on that kind of, uh, on that kind of front too. Um, but then we also help with the animals. So I rescue sea turtles, seals, and then also things that are on land because it's all part of the same environment. So deer, squirrels, all kinds of things that need our help. <laughs> Is it tough to be a mermaid? Because it's tough to be a human. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there have been some very challenging days, let yeah. me tell you. But, you know, I'm, I'm just so glad to be doing what I'm doing. And to find out there's so many other people out there that want to get involved, too. It's a really, it's a wonderful thing. It's a really wonderful thing. Speaking of people getting involved, how can they help? Oh, well, the best way, really, is to follow me on Facebook. I'm okay. Chesapeake Mermaid, and then I also have ChesapeakeMermaid.com. So all of my activities and events and things like that that I'm going to be doing, everybody can come on board. They're invited to any of them. And they can also have you at an event as well? Yes, yes. You can reach me at info at ChesapeakeMermaid.com, and I'll be more than happy to show up. <laughs> Chesapeake Swim Mermaid, up. you are so beautiful. Oh, I love thank it. you. <laughs> Inside and out. And I you love that you're impacting too. 
our environment. Absolutely, yes. it's so important. High five. High, high five. five. There yeah. we go. High I, what, can I do the high fin real quick? Oh, Just a little wave it, girl. Yeah, there you go. I love it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. We love having the Chesapeake Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> do you know someone who's making a difference in our community? We want to hear from her. Nominate local heroes for our Go Girl salute. Email their name and contact information to be more lifestyle TV at gmail.com.